What is up, everybody? I hope you, yes, you, 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 are having a great day. Before we get the video started, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Versaloom. Thank you so much for the sponsorship. Definitely go check out their website, guys. I definitely appreciate what they're doing. Even though this is a sponsored unboxing review, I still have the pros, the cons to share with you. So we have these three boxes, which are the uh, laser USB uh, cables, which we're going to talk more about that right now. So let's open up uh, the red one first. There we go. Oh, how interesting. Okay. So it has a peak finish, obviously for the ladies or in maybe some cases men, I guess. Interesting color to choose red. I wonder if the uh, Versaloom uh, light would actually, the fiber optic um, light will be pink as well. So if you guys are wondering, each cable is three feet long. Pretty decent cable. Now, before we get into the light, which is pretty much the big deal of this, it's not just about the lighting for this product. It's about this right here. So as you guys can see that this is uh, made for an iPhone, your latest iOS device and you could actually take off the top and use the latest Android on it. Why is this not on every single device or every single USB charger in existence? That just blows my mind. Alone, that is a very cool feature to have. So we got the, the I guess, pink one opened up, which is supposed to be red, but let's get the other two out. Ah, oh, see, like the green. It, it's, they're going for a certain palette here. They got like a really light green going on. But yeah, it's got like this weird, sort of light green to it. And I believe the blue one's pretty light as well, which I do like the palette, but I feel like for the colors, especially like the red, it doesn't work. Why couldn't the green one do that? So we got all three colors here. We got the pink, the blue, the green. But yeah, let's plug these guys up and see how bright they are. So I don't know if you guys could see this in camera, but these are actually pretty bright. Um, I want to turn off the light and hopefully you guys will see it a little bit better to get an idea on how bright these things are. So you have a little bit more of an idea now of how bright these things really are. I'm not really sure how this is gonna look for you guys, but for me, this is like blood red. From what I can see here, it's kind of coming out orange for you guys, but this is really red. This is super green, and this is a very vibrant blue. Very good colors. Cool feature about this is it just doesn't stay on and look pretty. So when you actually plug in your device, like so, Boom, once it starts charging, it's gonna start pulsing like this to let you know that your device is charging, which is, I like this. And then once it's done charging, it'll flash um, several bright lights and then it'll stop the charge. So if I unplug it right now, it's going to flicker and then stop. So that's gonna indicate that you're done with the charge. Okay, so we're gonna come back to the laser light and charge cables in a minute. I wanna talk about more about the technology inside them. So Mario also sent me the single color USB module. This module you could actually connect to your laptop or computer, either Mac or Android. I actually really like the box here. I'm gonna talk about this box for a minute. I love this color blue. It kind of reminds me of the Logitech blue when you unopen those packages. Um, kind of like the mice and stuff like that. I've unboxed those before. And then look at this, it's just, as soon as you open up the box, you get like this little prompt, which it talks about where you could actually visit and wait, let me get a little bit closer. So this right here, will talk more about the uh, product inside, which is the lighting module. And so this is what you're pretty much given, just this wire. So Corning actually makes these fiber optic wires. If you don't know what a fiber optic wire is, I'll leave a link in the description below. I found a really nice video that explains the whole thing very thoroughly. It's an older video though but it does explain it quite well. But to get to the bare bones of it, um, through the fiber optic wire, the way that it was made, light is able to travel the whole thing evenly. Through the video I just talked about earlier, you'll learn more of how that works and why that is. But the fact that it teamed up with Corning, which is probably, I think, one of the older manufacturers of this type of wire, is pretty crazy. I can see why they gave me this power bank now just for this device. I appreciate that, Mario, thank you. Plug it in and you just press the on button and boom. Look at that. How cool is that? That is pretty freaking cool. I wanna also turn off the lights so you guys understand how bright this is. I mean, you gotta look at that, guys. That is pretty freaking cool. And it's just wire, because the laser travels through the whole thing. That is just super cool. So the question that you guys might be asking is, why, why do we care as a consumer? Why, why do we care about a product like this? Well, that's a good question. This is a product that's so versatile, you can almost put it into anything, which is, in my opinion, what makes it worth, the price point that it is. Like Mario, think of this as like a jump rope. Imagine you had a bunch of these and a jump rope. You have the first laser lit jump rope. 
I'm giving you ideas here. For me, as an artist, I could see this in an art piece, mainly like one of my sculptures. I'm actually going to try this out on one of my sculptures and see how it is. Let me know what you guys think of uh, something like that, if I should do more with this sort of technology. But, I mean, there's just so many implementations. They even had a car with, I believe it was a Mercedes at CES, where they had this technology as the taillights and the headlights as well. Even Unbox Therapy uh, did a video with this type of stuff in it, and that was with the Glow headphones, I believe. And he was even impressed, and he even explained the value of something like this inside of a product. And since it is first in the world, it is a bit pricey. So when you're looking at like a USB like this, I believe it is $60 on their website. Here's the thing, you're paying for basically two adapters for a iOS device and an Android, and you're getting this laser technology, which is the first ever in the world of this technology. The first ever in anything, it's gonna be a huge price point. I think it's a good price. I think it's a good deal. Now, the con, uh, I was already given a blue one over at CES from Mario. And within the first day, I noticed some bending over at the jack. It's because, I think, of the plastic that's used at the end. And it could have been a fluke. Honestly, I think it's a fluke. I looked at their Patreons and read the comments. Um, no one else had this issue other than me. So keep an eye on the comment section because I'll be using these as well um, on the daily, letting you guys know if these bend as well. Also, with the blue ones, and it's just the blue ones, while the phone is plugged in, the light will go out as if it's fully charged, but it's not. But it is still charging. I'm not too fond of the paint job that's done on these. I know that's nitpicking. I just think the color palette just uh, needs revisiting because it doesn't match with the light. Regardless of the cons that I did mention before, I do think it's worth the money, especially it being in the first stages. If it's something that you're in, I mean, even as an Uber driver or a Lyft driver or even just someone who drives people a lot, this is very useful. This is a damn good idea. More companies need to do stuff like this, guys. But let me know what you guys think. This is just a short unboxing and review. Thank you so much to Versaloom for sponsoring this video and to sending me out this product. Be sure to check out their stuff in the description below. And if you guys liked the video, be sure to press that like button. Don't forget, also leave me a comment because comments are nice. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I still don't have an outro because all my outros suck. So, 